you've been talking a lot about this concept of becoming an invincible company. And I thought that would be a good place to start. You know, when I think about this audience, I think it's companies kind of on a journey towards that, whether they have that terminology or not. So I thought a place maybe to start with is just sort of the elevator pitch for being an invincible company. Great way to start. Actually, I am just going to quickly use my new studio to, to describe the three characteristics of an invincible company. And the key is actually the success corrupts uh, future success, because if you believe you're invincible, you're going to die, right? So the secret is that you actually do not believe you're invincible. You constantly reinvent yourself. But so if I go kind of just to look at this, see mountain team kind of all the time, the first characteristic, and it sounds kind of trivial, but it's not really the case, right? That invincible companies constantly reinvent themselves while they're successful, right? And you have, you know, a company like Amazon and a founder, former CEO like Jeff Bezos, who says Amazon's going to die. <laughs> They're just reinventing themselves all the time to kind of push that timeline out. So that's characteristic number one. Characteristic number two is something we've been working on for a long time, is competing on superior business models. So I think we're sometimes stuck in product thinking and technology innovation. I'm not saying that's wrong, new technologies. But look, sometimes you can't launch the technologies or bring them to market without the right business model. And turns out business models can protect you from competition. Guess why iPhone with the App Store, you know, is up there and why there are only two operating systems on the planet for mobile phones, because they have superior business models. And the last one, really the most difficult one, is transcending industry boundaries. So I believe, you know, if you still use, you know, five forces and stuff like that, you're stuck in 1985. That's quite some time ago. Today, players, they create industries or arenas. Now, Rita McGrath talks about arenas a lot. So transcending into industry boundaries is a really, really a key if you want to become an invincible company. And that's probably one of the hardest because we think in terms of the industries we're in, at least kind of the old school strategic thinking is like that, but that's not going to work for very long. 